Hey y'all, this is Shimon with Growing in SA and welcome back to my channel y'all. Um, today I'm going to be going over my top three books that I've referenced pretty much on a weekly basis. And just to give y'all some insight, I love to read um, on my time off from the garden. When I'm not in the garden, I love to read. I love to read up on different things. Um, most people know that I am retired Air Force and my job pretty much was to um, make sure that we are following instructions. And so therefore there was a lot of reading, a lot of making sure you had things in black and white um, to make sure that you're able to reference or do your job. So um, I love to read. That's just been instilled in me since I was younger. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you some of the books that I love um, that have helped me in my garden um, to build what I have. Um, and if you want to, of course, you can always get these on Amazon or any local bookstore. Um, I think two of these I've gotten from um, like a used bookstore and pretty much uh, let's get into it, y'all. Um, so the first book that I have is going to be the Backyard Home Homesteading. Um, this book here um, has been, let me bring it up closer so y'all can see. You can see that it has its wear and tear, has stains on it and everything. Um, I bought this one brand new from Amazon. Um, it's about $25. Um, yeah. Anyway, this book gives you um, a lot of detailed information on how to um, garden, um, do extensive gardening. Um, it also teaches you on how to bring in all of your animals. Um, pretty much any small homesteading that you can do in your backyard, which would even include goats for some people. Um, it all depends on how you have things laid out in your garden and how you have your animals set up um, around in your around your garden. Because uh, you always want to make sure your animals are close to your garden. You can either throw all of the spent food or leaves or um, lettuces, cabbages, things like that, that bugs have gotten a hold of. You get your head and then the rest of the leaves you can throw them into with your animals or you can compost them, one or the other. But mainly you wanna make sure your animals are close to them so that it's easier for you to just throw it into their pen and they can have at it, or it's easier for you to put it into something, uh, like a wheelbarrow or whatever and bring it to them so that they can have all those greens and everything. And pretty much all it's doing is keeping your you a close loop. You wanna make sure that you are feeding, putting it back into the soil which by means of compost or laying it down so that it can just compost back into the ground. It's just going to take a while or giving it to the animals and using their manure. One or the other. Um, this book here, um, I love to reference it only because it talks about self-sufficiency, um, how that you can have your own animals either for especially chickens. Um, having your animals in your backyard, meaning having them so that you can have them for eggs or for meat. Um, I love this book only because it doesn't skimp on information. Um, it also talks about planting fruit trees and all of your vegetables and herbs and things like that. And things that are going to be benefiting you um, and your family and your, and your garden and what you're doing. All right, y'all. So also in this book, it has a lot of extensive information as far as how to care for um, all of your fruiting shrubs and it has it by plant. Um, so in here it gives you a lot of detail and I also like that it's color coded so that you can go to the section that you want to go into um, so that it's easy referencing. Um, like this uh, yellow color right here, golden color or orange, whichever color it comes up for y'all. Um, this one here talks about chickens, their waterers, um, and it has a lot of good information as far as um, how to take care of them, um, building coops. It also has coop plans in there and everything. Um, it also has in here for other livestock that will be good for a small amount of land, like if you have a small backyard. Um, goats are also a possibility for you, so just kind of look at this one as a general information. Um, it has a lot of good information on here, which I reference all the time. Um, the next book that I have is the Vegetable Gardener's um, Bible. This one here, it's a pretty big book. Um, but again, like I'm telling you, it has a lot of good information. 
Um, it, there is no set information on how you're supposed to garden in your specific gardening space. But this information here is gold, gold. Um, it has each one of the plants in here and different types of bugs that especially pests um, that are good in here um, and how to identify them and what to do as far as not pest control, meaning spraying any pesticides, but what plants are beneficial at bringing other bugs in that are predators for them. Um, pretty much it kind of is organic gardening at its best. Um, and so I think this book here is very good. It also teaches you how to plant different um, vegetables and herbs and even fruit in here. Um, it gives you um, when, how to plant it, when to plant it, location and what temperature um, these thrive in, um, which is all very good information. It also teaches you about trellising, um, and getting the right balance for your garden to make sure that it's able to thrive, meaning kind of keeping it hands on and giving you some detailed information on how to um, put in systems that's going to help you and so that you're not out there all the time doing the same things over and over again. I mean, you don't have to use um, a hose to water. Um, you can always put in irrigation, which is going to be beneficial to you so that even on days when you forget, it'll automatically be set to get out there or days, not that you forget, but days that you're not able to get out there, meaning you have other things going on in your life, which pretty much that's all of us now, um, so that those systems are in place to thrive even whenever you're not there. Um, here in San Antonio, we sometimes don't have the rain that we think we're going to have um, or it'll say that it's going to rain when it really doesn't um, and so those days get very scorched and hot and so um, making sure that you have irrigation in your garden is pretty much essential so um, this is another book that I love um, I love this book it has a lot of good information has some detailed uh, information and the pictures in it are beautiful of course um, the next one I have is Backyard Farming on an acre more or less. Um, this one is not just for um, a backyard. It also gives information on how to garden if you have a very, very small backyard or just a patio. And sometimes um, even in here, I think there is some good information um, if you want to use pots which even in an apartment, you can use pots on the patio or pots in your house. You just gotta make sure that you're putting some type of saucer or tray underneath it, just to make sure that you're catching the water. And you won't need too many of those saucers or trays if you're watering correctly. And yeah, so this one also is a very good homesteading slash farming book. Um, it has farm on here, but this can be always downgraded to a smaller level for a homestead. Um, it also talks about all of your different animals, which I love. Um, it gives you all types of other poultry, not just chickens, turkeys, um, quail, um, ducks. Those also can be in a small backyard. Um, ducks, I heard, which I have not done yet, um, I heard are better than chickens because the duck eggs are larger, of course. And ducks don't scratch up your garden the way chickens do. Chickens always want to scratch and search for food. And ducks don't do that because they also, they have the weapon in between their feet. Um, but they do look for ticks and bugs and stuff like that. That are pretty much eating your garden alive. I'm trying to tell y'all. Um, so um, my goal is to have ducks one day. Hopefully very soon. But um, yeah. And also they talk about other small animals like rabbits um, and chinchillas and quail, like I already mentioned before. So it gives you a lot of good information in here. Also in this book, it talks about seed saving. Um, you wanna have to keep on buying seeds every year. You can always buy initially your seeds. Um, and then as you grow those different things, you can make sure that you are um, letting the heads dry out and just saving your seeds so that you're able to 
um, keep your seeds and in every time that you plant out in your garden or in your pots in your uh, gardening area you want to make sure that you're saving those seeds because then they get acclimated to your gardening area which obviously they're going to be thriving um, even more so if you're buying keep on buying seeds from other people's gardens where they grown them and save those same seeds um, now those were my top three I think I went over three did I go over three yes those were my top three I have so many books y'all um, but those were my top three and then of course you know I always add a bonus book because I just couldn't stop at three y'all lucky I stopped at three anyway um, the last one is going to be Raising Chickens, The Be Beginner's Guide to Raising Chickens. And this one, um, I love this one because it has a lot of good information. Um, it all talks about chicken breeds, how to collect eggs. Um, it talks about everything that you need for to take care of your baby chicks, if you have baby chicks. Um, how to hatch out eggs. Also grown chicks how to take care of them um it also talks about coops and um i think in here and i'm going to show y'all this it gives you a detailed type of um uh coop plan on how to build one what you need as far as a run and how many um these how many chickens belong in this type of uh, setting and I don't know if y'all can see that but yeah this book is awesome I think I've read this one probably two or three times um, it's probably gonna be time for me to read it again being that I want more chickens and I also want to do more baby chicks this helped me tremendously when we got baby chicks um, of course they're grown now <laughs> Um, but we want to start over, do more baby chicks. We also want to, um, we also want to get, you know, some hatching eggs so that I can grow out some chicks and have that experience. But yeah, this, this book here is awesome. So make sure you go and check this one out for sure, especially if you're going to have chickens or you plan on getting chickens. So read first and get a general idea of what you're supposed to be doing first before going and getting these baby chicks. Very important, y'all. Don't just go and grab baby chicks thinking that it's just going to be a short-term thing. Chick go from baby chicks to young chicks to adult chicks. And then when they stop laying, you still have a responsibility to make sure that you're taking care of them or you can go ahead on and eat them. So just make sure that you are thinking of that being a responsible chicken owner okay so always read up first on um animals and make sure that you get information first or even go into someone else's um property meaning a uh, homestead or whoever is keep, uh, keeping chickens and kind of get um, a general idea by either watching their chickens or asking them questions about their chickens um, not everybody's going to do the same things um, not everything is going to work for everybody um, different people have different types of predators, um, meaning everything loves chicken, y'all. You think we love chicken? Everything loves chicken. They love chicken, y'all. Anyway, um, that is probably going to be the last book that I talk about on here. I am going to be coming out with an article later on my blog um, about ten um, my top 10 books. So, like I said, I wanted to keep this video kind of short because it can go very long talking about chickens and talking about all the different animals that are um, that are beneficial to a homestead. Talk about gardening. It, this video can be very long, y'all. But I wanted to keep it short by talking about my top three plus one more that I added on there, a bonus book, um, So, which I think is an awesome book along with the other ones. Um, you don't have to get all these different books, y'all. I mean, get one or two um, based off of what you're trying to learn about. And then I promise you will be hooked and you will get more. I promise you that. Um, this is a lot of good information. And of course, do what works for you in your garden. Grow where you are. Grow how you need to grow for your own space. 
um, or get as many animals that you want for your own space. And chicken math is a real thing. It is a real thing, y'all. Um, anyway, so I just want to wrap up this video. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video, y'all. Please, just share it. Um, or like it. That also is very beneficial to me. Um, and of course, if you have anything you want to add as far as these books or any books that I probably don't have on my top 10 or just a book that you recommend, add it in the comments below because I will be looking at it and see if I already have it. And if I don't, I will probably get be getting it. Um, anyway, thanks y'all. Be blessed. Bye.